Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have another fun nail design, this geometric mani with negative space. The polish I am featuring today is Essie Off Tropic. This is new from their spring collection. I pick 10 favorites each season and do a fun nail design for each. This is the sixth one that I've done so far, and so you can check out the other ones on my channel as well. I'll also have a link down below for my favorite spring nail polish video that I did a few weeks ago where I reveal my favorite 10. So starting off for this mani, I did one thin coat of this base coat, and then I did two coats of this Essie Off Tropic on all my nails except my ring and middle finger. My ring and middle finger, I did one thin coat of Mademoiselle just to have a little more pink underneath. And then I did a fast dry top coat on all my fingernails and let that dry for at least 10 minutes. I'm using these What's Up Nails vinyl tapes and they're really great for this. And they're about $5 a sheet. They do have cells. I'll put a link down below to their website. They're really great for this. I don't know what else I would substitute and they last a long time. I've used these for several months and I still have several stickers. I'm starting off using the Skinny Chevron and I just want kind of an arrow on the side of my nail. So once I get that place where I want it, I'm going to come in with the next one and leave a little space in between. And you can pull on the ends of these to get them exactly where you want them and then once you have them in place just press down and make sure they're completely sealed to your nail. And next I'm going to put on the skinny straight tape and then leave it a little space on the top and then place the other one with a little space in between underneath that one. Then I'm going to come back in with this green and paint on my first layer. I did two coats on all my other nails, so I do want to do two coats on this so the color matches the other ones. And you just want to make sure that you get in between the stickers so that there's no spaces left in between. And I only let this dry for about a minute. If you let it dry too long after you do your second coat, when you peel it off, it can kind of pull off some of the polish. So I'm going to come back in with my second coat. And when I'm finished with my second coat, you want to go ahead and take those right off. And it can get a little messy when you try to get in all the crevices, so come back with a brush and some acetone and clean it up and shape up the bottom. Now I do this right after I do it because this polish does tend to stain a little bit. And you just want to do the next thing to the other side, come in with your first coat, let that dry for only about a minute and then come back in with your second coat. And then once again, immediately pulling those stickers off. And as you can see, there are a few little areas that need a little touch up just so the lines are a little more straight and we'll come back and clean that up. But first we're gonna get that brush again and clean up any messes on our skin. And then I'm going to come back with this brush, I'll have a link down below, and I'm just going to do that touch up that I talked about just to make my edges a little more straight or the polish leak through a little bit. And you want to be careful not to get too much acetone on your brush or it will flood your nail and take other polish off. And finish up with your favorite top coat, I'm using HK Girl by Glisten and Glow, and I made sure that was completely dry. And that's the final look, I hope you guys liked this, give me a thumbs up if you did, and don't forget to subscribe, thanks!